Today we've got a video looking at some different ichthyosaur bones. I'm going to start off having a look at some I found down on the beach. I know a lot of people ask what the bones look like when I find them on the beach, so I've got a few clips of that. And then also, I've got a couple of really lovely ichthyosaur vertebrae to have a look at and compare. One of the vertebrae is one of the first ones we ever found, and the other one is one of the biggest we've ever found. So a really nice comparison of those to come as well. First of all, let's have a look at those bones I found down on the beach. I'm not actually filming a fossil hunting episode at the moment, but I'm going to put this clip into one of my fossil hunts because I've just found a lovely block filled with ichthyosaur ribs and I thought a lot of you might like to see that. There's quite a few ribs inside the block and also what looks to be a couple of little paddle bones. It would be nice to take it home and clean it up at some point when we get a chance to. So I'll show you the block now. Here's the block. When I found it, I saw a few little bones around the edge and decided to break a little piece off with my hammer. And I will remove the piece that I broke off. And underneath, you can see the edge, or the very, very end of some ichthyosaur ribs. These ribs run deeper inside the block. You can see there, the ribs are all in position where they would have been in life. I don't think there was any vertebrae within this block. Mainly look like ribs and a couple of paddle digits. Paddle digits make up part of the flippers from the ichthyosaur. Give it a little wash in the water. Sometimes it can show the contrast a little bit nicer. So there you have it. Nice little block of bones before preparation. As you can imagine, this piece would probably take several hours to prepare to remove all the limestone and show the bones. In the future, when it's prepared, I'll be sure to show it. That was pretty nice to find. Nice little block with some ribs and things in. We've not actually prepared it. We've had it for a little while now. And along with many of our other fossils, they've gone on the pile to be prepared at some point in the future. Got quite a few fossils I've even found a few years ago, which aren't prepared yet, but we're getting round to preparing them. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, it can take hundreds of hours to prepare some of the bigger pieces. A block like the one that we've found now, which I just showed you, would easily take five to ten hours to prepare alone. So you can imagine what a big fossil would take to prepare. Easily a hundred hours or more. It's quite a daunting task. I'm very pleased and fortunate that my dad is skilled and willing to prepare them. Let's have a look at the other vertebrae which I mentioned at the start of the video. I'm going to start off with a vertebrae that my mum found. Now she found this on one of our fossil hunts and I was very jealous. It was such a lovely vertebrae to find and she's found a lot of good fossils over the years and this is just one of them. So let's have a look at it. So this is the vertebra and it was literally found lying on the beach exactly like this it had a tiny tiny little bit of preparation work but not much at all it was quite unbelievable that a fossil like this was just laid there pretty delicate bones as well must have literally just fallen out or washed up broken out of a little slab of shale perhaps and was right there for the picking so this is a nichthyosaur vertebra this is a very lovely fossil I'm very pleased to have it and the next one we're going to look at is also a nichthyosaur vertebra but one from an absolutely enormous ichthyosaur let's have a look at that one I'm going to slowly pan the camera across, see if you can spot where the vertebra is. These are all little ammonite nodules, by the way. Now, I think I probably made this one a bit too easy. I'm sure you can already see it by now. It might be hard to tell, but this is considerably bigger than the average vertebra. I 
I'll pick it up in just a moment and we'll have a good look at it. As you can see, this is just ginormous. It's got two huge rib attachments on the side. This is where one of these spineless processes would sit above, attached by some ligaments. But yeah, this ichthyosaur vertebra is just it's something else. It's just on another level compared to the average ichthyosaur vertebra. I know this one in particular was very difficult to prepare. It was covered in really sticky iron pyrite. Don't know if you can tell, but there's a sort of green tinge to it. That's from the pyrite. We've removed the majority of the pyrite. But because the pyrite was preserved on it, it's a really, really heavy, heavy piece for the size of it. Here's a little comparison between the two. This is still a superb piece to find, but in terms of the size, this is also incredible. there we have it nice little block of bones we found as well as two of our favorite vertebrae pretty different video to normal however showing ammonites and ammonites only all the time can be a little bit repetitive so i like to mix it up with a few different fossils got plenty more to come as well and as i said in some of my previous videos just let me know if you would like any particular videos making which i've not made yet thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one just to finish up this video, I've got some lovely scenery clips to show you now. I hope you find them quite relaxing and enjoy them. These were taken whilst walking along the cliff tops near one of the beaches where I look for fossils. It was very windy as you can tell. Got some shots coming up of the sea in just a moment. That's the end of these clips. I hope you enjoyed them. 
And next up is a little reminder that if you'd like to support the page in return for some Ammonites to open up yourself at home, please just drop my brother a message, either on his Instagram page or drop him an email. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. That's amazing!